has not been returning kicks, but returned a number of them for touchdowns a year ago. The kick by Baxa, and Oliver will watch it bounce out of the back of the end zone. Miami defending its seventh best on third down in league play. And here is Graham trying to get to the edge, and Romeo Finley gets him around the shoe tops shot of the first down line. Look at how many guys up at the line of scrimmage that Nikosi Perry is having to sort out here on this third down. Perry with the blitz coming, fumbled the ball, and into the end zone. Georgia Tech has recovered for the touchdown. Slapped down by Demetrius Knight, and Jeff Collins' team gets a huge early break. A zero blitz. There's no safety help in the middle of the field. It's all man-to-man. -man. You get number 17, Demetrius Knight, the true freshman, coming unblocked from the edge. Nikosi Perry does not protect the football. It's a fumble in the end zone, a scramble for it. Georgia Tech with a monstrous play for an offensive struggle for the defense to create points. Jeff Collins has to be pleased. Jaquan Griffin, I believe, fell on it for the touchdown. The Hurricanes is out right now, and John Campbell, number 74, is in the game. Another freshman. That makes three on the offensive line right now for them. Quick throw here to the near side. This is Osborne. He will fight for the first down. Dallas back in the ball game for third and 11. Perry across the middle, Osborne a first down. Mallory, the second tight end, is coming to the lineup as well. And here is Perry. Flips it off the screen for Harris. And he will have a Miami first down to the 22 and a half. Wanye Thomas and David Curry the stop. It's an interesting skew of the numbers too, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. Here's third down, Perry looking for the corner, incomplete for Dean Wiggins. And I think Trey Swilling's going to get called for pass interference here or defensive holding. Go back is Parrott. Now they tighten up the formation, and Perry just going to ride it into the end zone for the Miami score. Interesting diagram from Dan Enos back come up and get close to the quarterback you know it's just going to be a push for the end zone a battle of wills and the quarterback trying to find a soft spot eventually he does behind his big center in trouble sack Trayvon Hill the grad transfer from Virginia Tech cover two behind a blitz see the three down lineman Georgia Tech's offensive line has got to sort it sorted out. Greg Rousseau comes through, creating the pressure to force Graham to step up, and Trayvon Hill absolutely finishes off. We have not seen DJ Dallas return since the injury. That almost got blocked, and Georgia Tech's going to get a fresh set of downs on Al Blade's attempt at a block. And here's KJ Osborne around the edge. He'll hurdle for an extra yard to the 33, but I think this is coming back in Georgia Tech to get something out of him. With only one win this year, you can't have stuff like that. Wobbly kick toward Osborne. On the fly at the 35. KJ to the near side. 35-30 and Osborne stays in bounds at the 15 and fights to the 13-yard line. KJ Osborne has proven to be a leader on this football team to do whatever they need. A great job of him catching this punt, going to his right, to his left, and then knowing that the wall's back to the right. He's able to get blockers out in front, almost takes this thing to the house. Presley Harvin, the punter, able to get over and slow him down. Harris with Perry. Looking toward Osborne. Caught it. Did he stretch it inside the pylon? He did for the score. What a catch. They dance with the one that brought him. You go straight back to K.J. Osborne with the back shoulder throw. He's able to catch it, strong hands, put it in the end zone for the big touchdown. It's a really good back shoulder throw by Nikosi Perry. Really good awareness by K.J. Osborne. The guy got you down there. Let him finish it off. Well done by Miami. Georgia Tech has the threat of the run or the pass. Here is Graham. And he'll get the first down and out of bounds up at the 42. Georgia Tech starting to operate with a little tempo here. And Graham just going to push this through, and a flag will be thrown from the secondary. Third and 17. 
You see the bunch look at the top. And this is Adonica Sanders. There's your 10 yard play, Roddy. I think you're close enough where you go for it here. The tag opting to punt here. They're going to fake it and throw down the far sideline and caught. And a touchdown. The Jackets score with Nathan Cottrell. His second touch of the football this year. Linebacker, Nathan Cottrell is just going to stutter and go up the sideline. Runs right by the defensive back who just falls asleep. Pass down the field. Nathan Cottrell catches it. Great catch on the sideline and Miami is stunned. With 10 seconds to go, Nathan Cottrell who only had one carry this year for minus three at Clemson has now caught a touchdown pass. Well, well DJ Ivy's the cornerback on that side and, and what he's thinking. And here is Harris trying to get cranked up. Midfield and more, Cameron Harris knocked out of bounds at the Georgia Tech 30. To work with Cameron Harris in the backfield. Kosi sacked. Boy, that is another big play for Griffin. And the screen, they try and go back underneath for Pope, and Trey Swilling handled that beautifully for Georgia Tech. Almost a minute and a half into the quarter. That's Jordan, the tight end, who's been quiet so far. Perry tried to go down the middle of the field looking for D. Wiggins and broken up by Trey Swilling again. Defense will check to coverage after showing pressure. Graham wants to throw. Big pressure. Under duress. He threw the ball. Or did it roll out of bounds at the one? Looked like he was trying to make the throw. Hunchback. Excuse me, safety. Going on the field as a runner for the ball Conrad comes out. At the one yard line. Just before. They're just affirming, not confirming, but letting the play stand because they had nothing to, to no indisputable evidence to take it the other day to overturn it. Osborne on the return. He had a good one earlier, trying to find another scene. Boy, Miami, excellent field position. Dimes on this broadcast. Cameron Harris cuts back and picks up 12 on first down before Zamari Walton makes the tackle. But you get a puller coming around the outside. That's Zion Nelson. Able to seal off the edge. Miami back with a two tight, two wide set here on third and nine. Perry to Harris. He's got room. He's got a touchdown. Second touchdown pass of the day for Nikosi Perry. Last week, and Enos is counting on the fact that this Georgia Tech team is going to have to send blitzes to be able to create pressure. So what's the answer to a blitz? It's a screen nicely executed by the Miami Hurricane. <laughs> Stay close to home. And now Graham off the read for the first down. Opportunity to throw the ball, obviously run the ball from the backfield. But since he does he get a big hit from the right side of the line, his big number 94. They'll flip it. And almost caught by Mason. Or no, Jerry Howard, 90. Who was 6 of 10 for 60 yards and two scores. And this is Harris blazing into the secondary. And almost 15 yards on first down. Out of the secondary for the Jackets on the stop. Watch the ability of this Miami offensive line up front. Number 53, Ja'Kai Clark, the freshman. Our number one in the country among tight ends. Perry, a laser on the inside to Mike Harley. Play fake by Perry. Across the middle, Harley, the catch, held on, took a big lick from Christian Campbell. That's Mike Harley in motion. Here's Perry. And off the hands of Harley, who got popped on the spot by Caleb Oliver. Center of the field. Missed it. 
job and Collins said everybody else is having a big old time and I'm here recruiting by myself. And here is Jordan Mason across the 35 and a first down. The momentum for this Georgia Tech team is just going to be get a puller, lead blocker out in front. Jordan Mason makes a man miss. Tech's got a little momentum here. I like the first two play calls. And breaking away again is Mason. Another first down for Jordan Mason. Roddy, they're getting some mileage out of the mess point, too. Figure out to tackle James Graham or, or Jordan Mason. A couple of guys have shots at him. He gets in the secondary, makes the safety miss of Romeo Finley's not coming from behind to tackle him. Back in the secondary indicates zone coverage. Graham heaves it for Marion Brown. He held on for the touchdown. What a catch by Brown. What a throw by James Graham. It's two under, it's two over the top, but it looked like man coverage underneath. Safety just does not get out far enough, and that is a well-placed ball on the outside. Amarian Brown catches it. They have to have a talk with the mascot. Yeah. I don't think Sebastian win that one. Perry on first down, looking for Osborne, broken up by Swilling and a marker throw. Defense's ability to get off the field offensively get the momentum by sustaining a drive. Fakes the toss, Perry gets eight, gets 10 and a first down. Yeah, his ability to come back and from this injury and play like he did before is gonna be huge for Miami, but it may not matter if they can run the ball like this. Cameron Harris, first down and more into Georgia Tech territory. It's 18 more yards here. See, it's like an inside zone play that Harris just breaks to the backside and Makes a man in the secondary miss, Tariq Carpenter. An unspecified injury. Some people have speculated that it's upper body affecting his throwing. And that one looks good right there. Rips one to D. Wiggins. The 6'3 sophomore from Southridge in Miami. Interesting to see here on third down if they can give him protection. Deep drop. Backs up. And now will be sacked through full practices over the course of this injury. And the problem is, is that sack takes points off the board. Jimmy Murphy again. Rousseau's the defensive end at the bottom of the screen. They hand to Mason. Jordan Mason gets a first down. Breaks to the left and out to the 21 goes Mason before Al Blades makes the tackle. The question was, what do you run? The answer is you run something to 27. He's been a beast today. His ability to bounce to the outside hole, explode through it, the offense. Graham, a little pitch play. Howard here to the near side. He'll be flipped over the 35 for a first down. I think you go back to him here. Graham, and he will have the first down. Proctor, by the way, is the fourth quarterback in that sequence downstairs. And nowhere here on second down. Georgia Tech's converted two in a row on third down in this drive. Graham misses Oliver the catch. Dives to the 37. The football throw has been really impressive. Last two weeks, they've been a second-half team against both Carolina and Duke. They've had late game, last possession, finishes. Graham, under duress, cannot get away that time inside from Pat Bethel. EACC. Well, the, the, the play is made by Greg Rousseau, who is able to force Graham up in the pocket, and the long arms doesn't allow Graham to get out. Straight third down conversions for Graham and the Jackets. Will there be a fourth? Catch is made, that's the tight end, Devaney. Flip it here to Harris. Nice pursuit, Carpenter. Double safety for Georgia Tech. Blancato and Amarian Brown. Lou Headley hammers it. And Murphy watches Georgia Tech signal for the fair catch. And Jimmy will down it at the five. 
And he's living the dream of playing here at the University of Miami. The give to Mason. Jackets run it. And a heck of a run for 15 on first down for Jordan Mason. Getting on the highway of US-1, and, uh, <laughs> and, and the guy just looked at me. He's like, you sh are you sure? I'm like, yeah, pull over. So he's in the Uber with his girlfriend going to the beach when he gets the email. He's got a lot of people hovering around the line of scrimmage right now. Sprint out for Graham. Sets. Hit as he throws. And it's caught. Adonica Sanders behind the play at the 40-yard line. A little too close together. It's over the hands of, of Oliver. Sanders able to come down with it. The question is... field of a completed pass is under further review. Was that right foot down when he makes the catch? And it looks like from, from the initial on third and four, looks like man-to-man -to, -man to the top, but it's a handoff. Jordan Mason around the corner. First down, Georgia Tech to the 43. The pitch, this is Mason trying to stretch it out. First down. 11.20 to play in Miami Gardens. And Howard hit on the button. That's Tyler Davis, the tight end in motion. Snap to Griffin, or Graham turning the edge, and he will step out of bounds, this time near the 20. And that is the first down. Sending Griffin now with Graham. First and 10. And here goes Jemias Griffin again. And Rousseau slows him down. And then Miami collapsed with Quarterman. Highly old vet's going to figure it out. He starts there in the middle of your screen. Gets going with that action. Oh, wow. Ooh, that, that is called arriving with bad intentions, Wes. I always hated that as a running back. When you're trying to cut back and the linebacker's got a downhill shot at Trying to sneak one back through the middle, and the ball popped out. Miami is recovered. The senior linebacker able to come up with a big play. He's able to punch the ball out, then recover. No points here in the second half. Perry, and this is Cameron Harris. Down the far sideline, and Miami's in business. Absolutely did. Momentum's a funny thing, Wes. Miami offensive line does a good job. Quest Jackson goes under the block. Cameron Harris able to get outside of Tariq Carpenter. It makes the cutback on Wanye Thomas, and then Carpenter is able to eventually. Perry, who's been banged up today. Harris having a great day. Here's the ball caught, and this is Mike Harley going to work for Miami. There you go, Ewood. Thanks. That's why we got you here. <laughs> Here's a throw and a lot of contact. Brevin Jordan was trying to get off the coverage of Trey Swilling. Harley in motion. They'll hand it to him. He flips to Osborne coming back near side. And Georgia Tech handles it well. Perry to the end zone. Osborne broken up. Trey Swilling. Backs up for the lead. Headley holds. The kick is no good. Miami has missed from 34 and now from 27. Little delay. Here goes Mason. 25, 26 yard line. Shot Quarterman. Georgia Tech just opting to go with the draw play. And you get a good gain out of it, but that's the danger of being third and 16. You can get a, an 11-yard gain and still be well short of the marker. The sloppiness of this game is what's led to a really compelling finish. Presley Harvin, a sky-high punt toward K.J. Osborne, who will signal for and make the fair catch. Miami from its 25 with four minutes to go. Perry, downfield, it is caught. That's Dean Wiggins inside the 25. Gonna step up and make the big plays down the field with Jeff Thomas out. D. Wiggins gets one-on-one -on -one coverage down the field. Nikosi Perry leads him away from the cornerback. 
Wiggins able to come up with the big catch. You see, one on one with Samari Walton, who's performed fantastic throughout the season, but Wiggins gets the better of him here in a big situation for Miami. After DJ Dallas was a first quarter scratch with an injury, and now here's Perry. He's got the first down. Steps out of bounds at the 11. And there's a minute. There'll be a minute and 30 seconds left around there when this ball is snapped. Will be interesting to see if Jeff Collins decides to use his timeouts right now. Get a hold somehow, right? Yep. And then they miss a field goal. Harris. Whoa, what a collision at the eight. I would go with my best run play to try to put the ball in the end zone. That gives you the best chance to win. Perry to throw. Shoots it for Osborne. Caught it. No, did not. All the way through. 30 seconds left to go in the game. Blocked. It's been 21 21 since halftime, and I'm sweating it's been so close. Here is Mason or Jemias Griffin picking up six. Jackets on first down, pick up three. 17 carries, 118 yards for Mason. And he'll get it again. First down and more. Jordan Mason to the one. Kervin Hall makes the tackle. Well, he's set it off on this run here to the one. Yeah, just able to get through the hole, make Romeo Finley miss. He gets in the secondary. Tech offensive line's getting better and better. Touchdown for the Jackets. Big answer miss and been able to just plunge in the end zone dive in and let's not forget Michael Pinkney exited this game yeah, you're absolutely correct play fake they hand it to Harley on the end around and whoa what a play in space play fake incomplete looking for Jordan Wiggins at the bottom of the screen, a bunch look near the fields or the boundary side. That's Harley in motion. Third and 11 for Perry. Across the middle, Jordan the catch, held on. It's a first down. The give is Harris. And Georgia Tech will rally to make the stop after a yard to the 13. Georgia Tech's not going to go easy. Tied at 21, we're in the first overtime. Perry to throw on second and nine. And it is caught, Harley. And he's brought down at the seven. Perry moves in the pocket. Loops it in the end zone and out of play. Perry, quick throw, Jordan the catch. Tackle is made. It'll be first and goal. Miami did not get the first down, and Georgia Tech is going to win on a measurement.